excitement, adventure. A modeler creates not these things. Hello, I'm Flood Skinner, aka Dr. Chris Skinner. I'm a scientist who specializes in hydrology and modeling, meaning I seek to understand how water moves through the environment and recreate this in experiments and tests. So on this channel, Model Life, I want to share with you why I find modeling the environment so exciting, but more importantly, why it's useful for us to do it. I'll also be sharing my experiences from across my career and exploring where modeling intersects with some of my other passions, including science communication and gaming. This episode, we're gonna look at what on earth numerical models are and how they help us make decisions. Now, wouldn't it be great if we knew what would happen in the future? Throughout history, people have tried to do this, knowing that if they could just know what was coming around the corner, they could give themselves an advantage. With the power to predict the future, you could bring yourself glory. You could make yourself rich if you, you know, for example, travel to the future. And while you were there in the future, you bought a book which had a load of sporting results in it. You could then bring that book back with you. You would now have the ability to accurately predict every sporting event and you could use it to rake in fortunes, placing bets with no risk at all of losing. But maybe conquest, glory and riches do not motivate you. Excitement, adventure. A modeler creates not these things. If you had the ability to predict the future, then maybe you would use that power for good. Joseph, of very colourful coat fame, was given the ability to interpret dreams of others that allowed him to have a glimpse into the future, warning people of the bad things to come. He interpreted the dreams of the Pharaoh, who, remember from the story, had falsely imprisoned him, and warned him about a time of plenty that would be followed by a time of very little. His warning moved the pharaoh so much that he planned and they managed to avert a famine. Because predicting the future would be a terrifically helpful thing to do, humanity has tried everything from wizards to astrology, from coffee grounds to dreams, in order to gain those insights on tomorrow. But no method has proved particularly useful or reliable enough to actually make plans from. But then, 100 years ago, the scientist Lewis Fry Richardson published a work called Weather Predictions Through Numerical Processes. This work demonstrated how processes that govern nature could be represented by maths and rules. It was a brilliant and fundamentally simple idea. If you knew what the weather was doing now, by looking at information from weather stations, and if you knew the mathematical laws that describe that nature, you could solve the sums and predict what the weather would be doing in the future. But there was one problem that meant Lewis Fry Richardson's work would not fulfill its potential in his lifetime. Because nature is immensely complicated, there are lots of sums that need to be solved. I mean lots and lots and lots of sums. He estimated that in order to give a single day's warning of the weather, it would require 60,000 people to calculate those sums. The power of numerical prediction was only realised with the development of computers. Computers allow us to perform an incredible amount of sums every second, and when they're combined with math-based rules, we can begin to model things much quicker than they happen in real life, so we can model them into the future. The UK Met Office model atmospheric systems into the future to provide weather forecasts using very complex and sophisticated computer models with lots of physics involved. To be able to do this, they need to use supercomputers, some of the most powerful computers in the world. Their current supercomputer is able to perform an astonishing 14 trillion sums every second, and they're due to replace this with one that is even faster. You may have found the idea of numerical models daunting, but the idea behind them is surprisingly simple. They're just a combination of two things, rules and computers, and when they're put together, the result is a concept that is remarkably powerful and flexible. And crucially, it's the most important word in modeling. It is useful. 
The reason they're so flexible is that where we can make rules, we can make a model and then we can predict the future. And rules can be found for almost anything. Weather is the example I've used here to introduce numerical modelling to you, and this is governed by rules rooted in physics. But changing the scales, we can use these rules in a different way to understand how our climate is changing. Similarly, the models that I use to predict flooding use rules based on the physics of how water moves and behaves. We have rules for how mud and rocks are eroded and moved, and models for how landscapes form and change. There are rules for how plants grow, and models that predict how many crops will grow in a season. There are even rules based on psychology for how humans behave, and models that predict transport patterns and help us design new roads and junctions, or model the transmission of viruses like COVID-19 with different laws and regulations in place. All these things are complex and the maths needed is equally complex, yet computer models are really quite simple. They're just that combination of those rules and the ability to do lots and lots of sums very, very quickly. By putting them together, we can recreate reality at a sped up pace, providing us a glimpse into the future. And that is why numerical models are so useful to us. So in summary, numerical models are the combination of rules describing the complexity of the world and the immense power of computers to perform sums very quickly. If we know these rules and we can use a computer, we can gain a glimpse into the future. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to continue to learn more about modeling the environment, make sure you subscribe to the channel and why not give this video a like as well while you're here. See you next time. Stay dry out there.